Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Ember with me, Bring It Dawn. And uh, let's uh. You have overstayed your welcome, Lightbringer. Go before I decide to make room for you at tonight's smorgasbord. Yeah, let's demand uh, this hammer of this uh, of the Goblin King. Finding the evidence took some effort on my part. This book meant nothing to you. A fair payment would be that hammer of yours. You've gone too far, Lightbringer. You want my hammer? Come take it from me. I fed you some nonsense about intellect and intuition. I'd rather see, and rather than see it for the gibberish it was, you sucked it up like mother's milk. You're not fit to clean the floors. Holy crap. What? What? Nobody speak to Goblin King that way. I crush you like baby rat. Die now. Some of the goblins are running away. It's probably for the best. I can't see anything with... Let's get rid of that stuff for right now. Um, I need to run. Uh, she also should probably run. I have Corrin. Focus on this goblin right now. Actually, you know what? I need to take this guy out probably first. Corrin should be okay for now. Let's go and ground smash and he can... Maybe be able to take those guys out? A heal. What a pain in the butt. Okay. Uh, let's see. Heal up corn right now. Go and ground smash. Lightning strike. Take that guy out. Alright, no more heals. That's a big heal. I got the goblin that's beside her is hiding. That's good. Uh, let's see. Let's begin. Okay, ground smash. That's not good. Alright, this is not a good start. If you want to give up, I'd understand. Cora, you just need to run. There we go. Let's go ahead and get some uh, energy back just to be safe. Well, he's in trouble. Not as much now. Super ideal. Uh, I think we got it though. I think we're I think we're still in pretty good shape. There we go. So he is doing a ton of damage to us. All right. Cool. Alright, you know, we're fine. We're fine. We're probably fine. Ready to surrender. Good luck patching that up. No one will remember your death. Uh oh. I kill things bigger than your lot. Dodge that. Oh, you can't stand and fight. You gotta, you gotta keep kiting. I was just stunned. Need some help over here. Run? She's not running. Why is she not running? What's going on my map? Oh no, I'm stuck. Oh, 
Oh, she can't use the health potion yet. She needs to use the health potion, then she'll be okay. Let's kite him around. There we go. And take him out. No! The stun! <laughs> okay. By the skin of our teeth. Oh. I'm gonna rest real quick. Remember that fight being difficult, but I don't remember it being uh, quite like that. The last time I did not beat it on my first try, so that's... We're doing much better this time around. I see you there. Don't touch that. It's not yours to take. Oh, sorry, I'll put it back. No, I won't. Give me my treasure. I killed your king. Okay. We well, Goblin King's hammer. I lose vitality and lightning strike. I get Sunder armor. Plus one strength and 8.3 average damage. So it is better. Especially for where we're currently at. I'm sad I can't pick up this stuff. I wonder if... I think more goblins become hostile after we kill the Goblin King. I might be mistaken. Do a quick one around to make sure. Why are you bothering me? Or maybe they just didn't notice that I killed their king. I go talk to Gwar, see if I can take his stuff. And then we'll uh we'll head back to Ember and talk to Is it Julius? Lightbringer, Slayer of Kings, Finder of Traitors. Gore Clan welcomes you. I am Gorad, the new leader here. Please make yourself at home. If we're nice to you, you not kill us, right? Goblin King angry and mean. I am calm and nice. Very nice. Uh, what happened to Gore? He got taken. King send goblins here. They t t take him. Hear screaming, then no more screaming. King say I run Gore Clan now. I not say no. I take your stuff. Take all tea. Oh, sorry, I'll put that back. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. All right, well, let's get out of here. We'll head back to uh. Don't you dial me yet? Radiance. That, that's fine. It's okay. Where is uh all the way at the other end? That's where he's at. Lightbringer, behind me is our library. It's small, but well, it is a superb collection, nevertheless. Uh, Core tells me you can help remove a ward on an ancient tome. I can tell you how to do it, but I can't do it myself. I'm not a lightbringer, obviously. Uh, lightbringers have the ability to remove wards. What can I do for you? Uh, no. Very few Lightbringers had those types of abilities. Only those dedicated to research and study might have known how to do it. So, how can I counter the ward? Restoration of the Lightbringer is an ancient book warded by Ember Magic. How do you counter an Ember ward? With an Ember. I realize you've been dead for a long time, but try to keep up with me. You harness the power of Domus through your Ember companion and into the book. Understood? Uh, Fia won't be harmed by this, will she? I don't think your people were in the habit of creating rituals that harmed embers. Well, that makes sense, but I'm afraid I need more specific instruction. Very well. Just outside the main temple, there is a lovely shrine that Lightbringers built. You might start by putting the book on the altar. See what happens. Alright. The tenants of the shepherds, though. Saw that already. Oh, I can't get out this way. Whoopsies. Yeah, because they, they keep mentioning elves, men, and dwarves as the three races, but there are other races in the game. 
Uh, we've heard about giants and shepherds. Shepherds are, I think, the most unique creation in the game. But they kind of, they're similar to other races and other fantasy genres. Ooh, fairy bells. I think I have to click and drag. Okay. Restoration Lightbringer by Anonymous. There will come a time when the light leaves this land, and the three that were children become the master. The children will grow, but they will give in to their darkness, and with time they shall not they shall rot from within. When the poison is too much and hope is forgotten, the first spells will be cast. The life force will blossom and the light will return. But to bring the light, the provider will lose much. A time will come when the resurrected must be made whole, when the beating red stone inside us all must be found. And taken back from the evil that has hidden it these many years. Take heed this prophecy, learn wholly its words. A being without a heart is a leader without remorse, and the only hope Domus has is a light bringer made whole. We must go speak to Sirma about this. I wish you would ask for things more nicely, sister. Tch, be polite. It's a light breaker you're talking to. The bringer of light. Oh, we can try the alchemist station real quick, see if I can make any more... potions. I'll leave the Scarlet Sage here. <laughs> Whoopsies. They may need like five in here. Okay, I don't know. I don't remember. Hi, right, Summer. Tell us what's happening. But keep it on the DL. Having you here gives us a great deal of optimism. Greetings, Lightbringer. We hear that you've removed the ward. What does the book say? It is a prophecy. It refers to a Lightbringer being made whole by finding his heart. I don't understand it. Ah, we'd hope this would not be the case. You see, over the years, the Lightbringer's tombs in the Barrows have been raided repeatedly. Many of their hearts were stolen, including yours. The thief or thieves must have been quite powerful, having succeeded in bypassing the enchantments upon the graves. Wait, are you saying this is literally true? I'm missing my own heart? Your body may be animate, uh, your lungs may go through the motions of respiration, but blood does not move through your veins yet. You are, and forgive us for the indelicacy, an undead being. The prophecies correctly foretold this, they also indicate that you can be made wholly alive again. Who in the world steals someone's heart? I have no idea. Desecration must have been recent. Our monks searched for the barrows for clues, but there was simply nothing out of place. Everything was left untouched, including live embers and a fortune in artifacts and rare materials. The only items taken were the desiccated hearts of the Lightbringer's mummified bodies. A gruesome business, Lightbringer. But what use is a Lightbringer's heart? What, what a horrific thing to steal. Someone must have found a use for them, but we have no idea what that could be. There are rumors of hearts, hearts trading for great sums. Well, we should begin looking immediately, uh, but where should I possibly... Where would I f possibly find such a thing? Hmm? In circumstances such as these, we would reluctantly attempt to approach the Thieves' Guild in the City of Light. The Guild is a center of illicit trade. Nothing of value moves without their knowledge. Uh, where can I find this guild? We have no first-hand knowledge of the guild's location. It probably moves from time to time to thwart detection. But we know of a pub in the City of Light's uh, dock district. This pub is called the Salty Keg. We have little doubt that you will find individuals there who can assist you in locating the guild. Well, thank you, Sirma. We will leave immediately. May the wisdom of the goddess May the wisdom of the goddess guide you, Lightbringer. While you're gone, we will research we will research the ritual necessary to reunite you with, with your heart. Oh gosh, I can't read that last sentence. Alright, let's fast travel. Well, no, let's get to the merchant first.
Okay, let's get out of here. To, um... So we have to get to the City of Light, so we go through all these other areas first. I know that we don't get to the Shepherd Plains yet. Is that a question mark right there? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I want to do this. I never thought Monkhood would be this bloody. No, wait, this is a dead end. Is that not a better uh, fast travel location? Darkwood. Darkwood's a better fast travel location. So we can just run straight south. I guess we could have also gone right there. So this might lead us to the Shepherd Plains, which is not where we want to go yet. So I think I've tried that before, and it doesn't uh doesn't bode well. where one-eyed Sam fell. Oh yeah, so this takes us to the Shepherd Plains, which is not... There might not even be any enemies here. Not thinking about it. I better just uh, walk right through. We'll see, what are they... Yeah, no, we can't fight them. Yeah, let's leave. We don't want to be here. We're gonna end up running for our life non-stop. We come here later in the uh in the story. We've been in this little dead end here. I don't think that we have. I think we went around this uh, rocky landmark, but we haven't gone inside of it. I mean, we may have. No, never mind. We've been down here. This is what takes us to uh, that little girl's hideout where we found Glowy. All right, straight ahead. Then we'll take a small left once we cross the bridge, like a southwestern angle. That should take us to the uh, southern forest, which is on our way to the City of Light. There we have it. Oh, let's head over there and get that side quest.
Hello, Postmaster. Don't hurt me! I'm finished. Uh, what happened to you? Brigands, stab me good. Please, hear my dying request. We'll speak, friend. The scrolls must be delivered by the postman's code I cannot fail. Please help me with my task. Well, very well. Rest easy, Postmaster. We're good. One's over there, so we'll just uh, head south this time and go around. Head back over there. see any enemies here yet and I saw something over there whether flower or some sort of mineral ooh an iron vein look at that Smash, sparks, and wild swing. Wow, we we're getting messed up here. All right, time out. I think I need to get back. I have corn tank this stuff. You took it like a man. I'll give you that. For all of Lady. Huh? Anyone have any healing potions? Yeah, these wolves are no joke. Alright, let's rest up. Let's see what this enemy is up here first. Have to grab this uh, copper vein. It's a bear. We should probably rest up first. Just to be safe. This is probably gonna be like a super bear or something. Oh, it wasn't that bad. Fight to wake you up. Ooh, a chest. Hello. Are those zombies? They definitely look like zombies. A bear and its cubs. Uh oh. There we go. Pain is life, my friend. I'm just warming up. I shall need to sharpen my blade after that tussle. Well, bringing uh, or killing baby bears does not bring me any happiness. I mean, I can't say that I'm happy killing any animals, but hey, experience and stuff. Ooh, what's this? Mysterious door locked. Okay. I don't remember what that is. But I know that we'll be back later for it. Twice today, thank you. 
Help, help, please. My friend has been hurt. Come quickly. Uh, with haste, take him. Take me to him. This is obviously a trap. This way. Yeah. Obviously so. Let's get him, boys. Take everything. Take everything the skeletal bastards got. He has a high parry chance or something. That was annoying. That'll teach him to mess with us. Love the armor of Berserk. Crude our stiletto of the bat. Ratty ruined habit of immolation. Might be good for what's her face. Let's see. Alright, cool. So he gets a little bit of damage, gets dexterity and vitality, and lightning strike. There you go. Now he's got a sword. Uh, any new armor for you? Same thing, except for he gets charged instead of leap. I'd rather him have leap. And you don't have any armor. At least you do. You lose Berserk, but you get Immolate. Yeah, let's do that. Though, debatably, Berserk is better. But, yeah, whatever. The Die of the Hermit. Nice costume. So peaceful. Oh. Um, I have this letter addressed to you. A letter for me? I'm expecting a scroll for my daughter, but I fear how the late postmaster is with its delivery. Aye, I found him dying. I promise to deliver the post on his account. Thank you. Blessings be upon you. I can't take your lantern. I will take your cabbage. And your blood moss. Right, so where does that take me? If I continue south, I guess to the farmlands? Let's go check out the house over there. Let's head that way, then we'll probably call it an episode once we get there. Recipe, fine iron longbow and an iron heater. Let's actually rest up real quick. I'm gonna guess five percent. Four. Okay. Yeah. So we continue south. I believe it takes us to the farmlands. Let's just verify that. Yep. A lot to do here. A lot to see and check out.
Butterweed? I don't know what that's for. Draw your swords and pray. Alright, that's a big bear. Let's fight this guy, then we might call it an episode. Stand strong, everyone. This darn bear. There we go. Jeez Louise. Well, that was rough. We still have 3% bonus left too, but uh, I'd recommend resting after that. Alright, I'm going to call it here. Uh, next episode, I guess we'll head... Let's just head over there. We'll see if there's anything there. If not, we'll uh, not worry about it next episode. Though... No, no, we're going to call it here. Next episode, we'll continue heading towards this, and then uh, let's get a rest real quick. So I want to fight all these animals on the way, get as much XP as we can. As well as loot to sell. So anyway, thanks for watching, and hope to see you guys in the next episode.